welcome back to Murphy's Diesel, folks. Guess what day it is? It's snow day. We are completely covered up with snow here in Northern Arizona. Got the highway shut down. It was a, a pretty sound night. We got plenty of sleep because they shut the highways down, so we actually didn't have any calls last night. It's kind of it's kind of new to us, you know, not getting calls when there's weather and stuff. Usually we're getting like 300 calls a night. Anyway, waiting on hot rod. We're gonna take war machine out for a little spin, go do some winch outs. Maybe some wrecks, recoveries. Who knows? The day's young, so stand by. Might get western. Got ourselves a little tractor trailer stuck on the exit right here. Um, and let me tell you, it is intense. This is going to be an intense winch out, guys, so saddle up. I didn't lie, I told you it was intense. Do you see how fast we were backing up down that exit? Hellboy for this one. Should have. Are you hoping to relieve the brake? Yeah, I'll do it. Sunny day. Yeah, at least it's nice out, huh? Yeah.
you so we got the, the call. We had to go. So we made it on scene. Looked at the garbage truck. Karen came out, yelled at us that it was private property. Even though we're on the like road that goes to people's driveways, I'm not sure how it's private property. But sorry, shaping up to be a real nice recovery. You know, dealing with Karen and <clears throat> some male Karen. Had his video camera in my face. Wife was out there with her camera in my face. I was really concerned with whether or not we we're going to be digging. I'm not sure what you mean. Like, well, you got a bobcat. It's not a bobcat, it's a kiboter. <laughs> got a big winch on the front of it, winch box. Free bird is what we call it. So yeah, it's going really well so far. We had to run back to Chris's 50 ton and get some rigging for the, for free bird. <coughs> so we're almost back on scene. So stand by for a little recovery action. Dance of the Devil. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you hear this thing creaking too? You can hear that creaking. It's harder than a wrecker. <laughs> Cut it to the right a little bit, I think it's to get that front out a little bit right there. There you go. Probably in this line out. So I'm taking a vote. Do you think Michael sounds like a young Fenner? Sometimes. <laughs> Not all the time. Is that the next business that Murphy's is going to get into? Garbage trucks? Yeah. 
uh, the next business that Murphy is getting into is towing garbage trucks. So we just went down, turned around, scoped it out, see if Bootsloff can get down there and turn around. Found him a good spot down there to turn around. He's gonna get her turned around and then we're gonna tow her back to Flagstaff. So, you know, I just kind of, it doesn't snow in Arizona, you know? It doesn't snow in there. It snows in Arizona. No way. You know how many times? Where are those snow drifts? I love when people doubt Freebird. Like and old Freebird didn't even break a sweat. We're gonna follow Chris up here, make sure he gets turned around. And so stand by. What's the name of a male Karen? Is it a Carl? Is it a Carl or is it a Kevin? Comment below. Comment below. Or or what is it? Maybe it's not a Carl or maybe it's not a Kevin. I don't know. I, I know some I know some good Kevins, so um, I don't know any Carls, but uh, I, I can't say that I do know any Carls. But yeah, comment below what the male version of a Karen is. We'd like to know. Because if we ever, you know, endure another male Karen, we want to know what to call him. So what's that old boy saying? Uh, he was just talking about how he could call another tow company and have a crane to pick up 500 tons. I was like, what weighs 500 tons? He's like, well, a tank weighs like 500 tons. I was like, uh, no, it don't. It weighs like 50 tons, 100,000 pounds. Tony, like, if you guys don't get it out, just call someone that can. Should have called someone that could do it anyways. This thing ain't gonna pull it out. And I was like, that's what he said. Yeah. Really? He said it was gonna pull it out. And I was like, dude, I have a 50 ton sitting here on standby, but this thing is gonna pull as hard as our 50 ton will. So, five 500,000 pounds? <laughs> yeah. So, male Karen told Michael while we were gone that he's going to call a towing company that's got a crane that could pick up 500,000 pounds and come out here and, you know, pick up a tank because a, a tank weighs 500,000 pounds. Yeah. Is that what he said? Yeah, and an Abrams don't even weigh that. <laughs> huh? And Abrams don't even weigh that. How much, how much does an Abrams weigh? I think Abrams is 100,000 pounds. I think it weighs 50 tons. What's up? I'm going to get out of here. I'm, yeah, I'm we're about out. chock full of this, so. The banter at Murphy's Diesel. Uh, so we're fixing to hit the blacktop. Booslov's uh, going to be towing this back to Flagstaff, and uh, we're on to the next one. So stay tuned for some more Western recoveries with Murphy's Diesel. You stay classy, garbage truck stuck in the three feet of snow in the ditch out in Mormon Lake.